Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Andrew Sutnikas. I'm coming from Claypeda Science and Technology Park. And uh, we are leading the project uh, called Martech LNG, which is also a flagship project under the Priority Area Clean Ship. And uh, today I've been uh, confronted by the challenge to try to tell you in 10 minutes how you make money out of LNG. So I will be, I will try to be a very concrete on that. But um, to start with LNG, um, I would like to define that, yes, there is quite a few other solutions for the clean shipping, but I would like to promote uh, exactly this case. So starting from why LNG? First of all, um, LNG propulsion or the power by ships powered by LNG uh, cut SOX and NOX emissions basically to zero, to 90 to 95%. Also, CO2 emissions, 20 to 25%. And uh, of course, even now, if we look at the market for the LNG uh, propulsion or LNG power ships is uh, not so big, we do understand that the environmental regulation areas will expand and this will bring a business opportunity for the technologies and products that are established in Baltic Sea for the export. So, LNG value chain. Uh, when we started uh, basically two years ago, uh, we always been uh, confronted with the egg and chicken question. And I thought, wow, well, where do we start? Who is starting? Why we start? How much does it cost? I think it's over now. We, we, we should close that deal because the case studies and the technologies, technological solutions, business company linkages that we had experienced during this period had really proved that technology and financing is in place for the LNG. Of course, the development takes some time, but it is not a chick and chick egg and chicken question anymore. Uh, lack of infrastructure. Yes, we experience the lack of infrastructure. The infrastructure is not in place and usually when you run the case study you need to develop your uh, infrastructure for bunkering and safety and uh, loading and everything yourself. But the lack of infrastructure is also a business opportunity. The lack of infrastructure means that there is a demand for technologies and services that would be provided for LNG powered ships. So this is a business opportunity. Well, now talking on the ship owners, I, I, I had the chance to visit uh, uh, your colleagues on, uh, on, on fjord lines where they have a uh, LNG, power, uh, LNG powered ship. And uh, from them, the estimations were so that the pure LNG megawatt hour cost is approximately 27 to 28 euros. But when you add the infrastructure costs, which is brought by lack of infrastructure, and some regulational aspects, it can rise to 50. So you can see there is a gap of basically 23 euros that is not really naturally uh, proven. There is a gap that can be decreased significantly and by establishing the business opportunity to supplying services and also decreasing the cost to the uh, energy, uh, LNG as a ship fuel. The other thing uh, with during the project, we, we actually made an um, evaluation and, um, of the LNG value chain and the supply chain. And uh, it's uh, quite interesting to see that uh, quite a lot or most of the uh, LNG technology and uh, uh, suppliers are of EU origin. It's probably because we start talking about this so early. And this becomes competitive advantage. As I said, the environmental areas will expand, exp will expand rapidly. So, some of the business opportunities within the parts of LNG uh, value chain. Small scale production, storage, <coughs> supp uh, supply. So, as we know, now the uh, by the clean fuel strategy from EU has been decided that uh, the core ports of the TNT network will need to be established with the LNG uh, bunkering infrastructure by 2020. This is more than 140 ports 
that will require one and another solution for LNG bunkering. This is a significant business opportunity for any uh, bunker, LNG bunker supplier. And for this, all the technologies are in place. Some I can show you here. This is the small scale LNG production unit that can produce this LNG in, on small scale within the, any area that could be connected to the gas pipe. We have uh, LNG storage solutions where we provide the uh, uh, bunkering infrastructure in the, next to the uh, ship operated uh, areas and of course to, by being capable to supply LNG to the, directly to the ships. LNG bunkering ships. This is the first in the world, even though that it's made out of the old ferry, LNG bunkering ship, you know. First in the world, extremely, immediately defines that this is a business opportunity <laughs> because you are, you are the first in the market. So there's, there's gonna, so many more coming in the future. Marine technologies. Uh, in my pictures here, we, I only have the Warsteel and Rolls Royce engines that you can easily recognize, but of course there is quite a decent line of technologies and parts that, rec that are required to retrofit or to establish ships at LNG propulsion, starting with the cryo, cryo pipe tanks and, and etc. All this is produced in our region. Our region is very competitive. EU is very competitive on, in this sector. And this is already, as I, as I said again, by becoming a model for LNG shipping in, in the Baltic Sea region, we can develop the competitive advantage for our industry. Shipbuilding and repair. You know, this is one of the most uh, challenged industries in, in our region. And uh, this is the, the industry that really requires some new orders. <laughs> yes, so LNG again, it's opportunity. All the uh, major case studies that we have now been performed and developed in, in, in the European ship uh, yards, not uh, outside in Korea or Japan or, or China. It's been the European projects. This has been something that we learned. This, is, this, is, uh, this can be something that we already done, and this is something that can be competitive advantage for our shipbuilding and repair industry. Demand. Of course, by now it, it is proven that uh, it is uh, calculated that 81 uh, confirmed LNG fueled uh, ship projects are uh, in place. 39 confirmed new builds. So it's, it's, it's a quite a rapidly rising number, but it's still not a, a huge market. But um, and also looking in the possibility that 44 ships in the iron operation by now. But if we look by 2020, and you know, when we see that more than 10,000, as Ginter said, 14,000 ships are affected uh, since 2015, this could be rising to, to demand of 1,000 ships by 2020. This is equal to 4 to 7 million tons of LNG for ship fuel. So this is becoming a demand. This is growing industry. This is, a, this is a future and this is possibility for your business to be established. And also I want to mark myself again. It's the environmental regulation areas will expand. <laughs> the environmental regulation areas will expand and they will bring the same challenges that we are facing now to new regions. And we need to be there sitting with the solutions to be competitive and successful in doing business outside the region. Also, the LNG fuel, you know, you can power, you buy, you can power any transport mean by LNG basically. And uh, shipping is one of the, let's say so, uh, agglomerated consumers that uh, really needs uh, big numbers, but by providing LNG to the uh, ship fuel, we open the market opportunities for rail, for road transport, for public transport that would increase the demand and would develop the ba a higher demand for the LNG bunker providers. So there are challenges ahead, of course, quite a lot, but I feel that LNG can be a future of uh, maritime technology development. We only need some common regulative st st standards because now the, the regula LNG performance is regulated very differently in every country. Price levels and economical trends, I should give, the, give an example. The technology and infrastructure cost is too high now. 
and this needs to be cut either by in public investments, either by commercial uh, competitiveness to cut the LNG as a fuel cost, and of course market development ex and expansion. It, we need to believe in that. We need our, to get our ship owners to believe in that, to expand the market, and to develop LNG as a business opportunity. So thank you very much. If you want to hear more, and uh, if you want to help, help to be helped establish into this market, you can find us here, golng.eu. This is a business cooperation platform for LNG business models. Thank you very much.